Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Zerjay Pestridge, welcome to the PK Gaming Brotherhood and a continuation of our trucking career. We're on level 4, let's go get another job. I've put in a load more mods, so basically I've put in everything that doesn't affect the weather, the time of day, the economy, the road textures, the mountain textures, like all that. So let's start in Utah actually. Let's start in Eureka, which we can't. Oh okay, we there's a couple of places you can't start. Okay, fair enough. Oregon. Can't start there either. I guess we have to unlock them. So we'll start here. And there isn't any jobs going down. We've kind of done that route before. So I don't want to do that route again. Let's start in Salt Lake City. And um, no, I'd like, I want to try and go this way to unlock Oregon, to be honest. So let's Idaho High Falls. Going in the wrong direction, mate. Elko, oh, they're all going in the wrong direction. I want to go, that's kind of going in the right direction, I guess. We want one that's going to go this way, to be honest. Um, it doesn't actually look like there is. So, okay, well, we'll, we'll, have, we'll go to Idaho, f no, we'll go to Elko. I mean, it's a grand difference, but yeah, we'll... We'll go this way, and then maybe we'll find one that will go up there. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Maybe this one, somebody somebody up here will go to Oregon. Oh, there's a loads here, so let's see. Hang on, what? Clicked on that. So there we go. Uh, I tried this one, didn't I? The days. Oh, we might do that one, actually. That one might take us there. Everett. Go the wrong way. Go the wrong way. Go the wrong way. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, there we go. Boom. Juice. Taking juice to, to Walmart. Wakima to Bend. That's close enough for me. We'll take that job. And, uh, yeah, so I've put in everything that doesn't affect weather, textures of uh, the terrain or, t or road. Um, the, like the, the weather in terms of rain or the sky or the nighttime or the economy or the actual time of day. So, basically, everything's been replace now so we've we've got real world everything except for what i've just said that those things so this job is worth just under five grand which is good because uh we need to make some money up to be honest when oh, it's night time that's good isn't it let's get the lights going so we need to come out of here why is it always a ball ache to get out it doesn't look like we're hauling long trailers so that's good um, let's adjust the seat here. Always do the same. 85, because that's the, um, sort of degrees that human eyesight is. 85, that's a good view. We're in a Peterbilt. Alright then. Let's skedaddle. So, there we go. And we need to go this way. Well, this is a good way to see what kind of thing we're hauling here, so this will be a good uh, a good test, I feel. Let's see. There's the door. So we need to go out that way. So, let's go. Um, I think we're just hauling the one trailer, in all honesty. Yeah, one trailer, nice and easy. They've learnt their lessons from me. They know I can't drive. I think we're going the wrong way, to be honest. We should have gone on the right side of this. It's always the right side. you got to remember that in America. So let's get over to the right. So there's no barriers. There's no icons. Um, we've got proper signage. And even, in fact, the license plates are actually accurate. So uh, this, should be, this should be a winner. So let's, let's turn her in. Even the night, even the lighting on the truck now is more realistic. Um, so look at that. That's beautiful. There, that's getting. It's getting there now. It's getting the Denny's. Look at that. It's Denny's. We might see 7-Eleven. Oh, we might see 7-Eleven. Quick, let's go before it goes to red. Don't go, to, uh, you fucker. I went on yellow, so don't find me. Good. You learned your lessons, right? Oh no, we need to get over to this side. So we might as well stay on this side. Okay, I feel we might need a bit more of the old lighting. So, we need to yep, get over this side and follow this in. We got four hours. This is going to be a long one, boys. 
We're in it for the long haul. Four hours to cover 320 kilometers. Uh, it's 2.24 a.m. in the morning and we need to be there for 6.38 a.m. Or is that what, what time we will be there? Maybe. It seems to be changing. So I don't think they're changing their mind on what time they want it. So it must be that's the expected time. So we've got four hours of driving, guys. So here we go. 97 is the limit. Let's get it going, boys. On the road again. I can't wait to get back on that road again. So I was listening to some, um, when I got back today, I was listening to some Freddie Mercury AI. I didn't know that was a thing, that people have replicated Freddie Mercury's voice and got it singing like modern songs, like My Heart Will Go On from the Titanic or I Will Always Love You from the Bodyguard. And guys, I gotta say, and I'm a big Freddie fan, so I know what his voice sounds like. They're really good. like. They're kind of missing the human elements of of his music. You know, the improvisation he did, the breathing and stuff like that. But in all honesty, they are very good. I will say, very good. Definitely worth listening to. Just type in Freddie Mercury AI cover and you will be surprised. Right, 97 is the speed limit. This is a sharp turn. Whoa, boy. Holy... That's a good one. Guys, I have a feeling we're going to have a crash. I just feel it in my bones. And the feeling is never usually wrong. It's usually 99% accurate, the feelings I get. So trust your feelings, guys. Trust your feelings. Please pull in for a vehicle inspection at the nearest station. That usually means it's it's up ahead. So we got to slow down and pull in. They want to see if we got any immigrants on board. Where's the nearest way station? Hang on, see the other side of the road. Well, we, we've passed it now, mate. Why would it be on the left side of the road? They're usually on the side that you're traveling, mate. Fuck it, Al. Right, well, we're going to have to turn in here. Stop at the truck scale ahead. Mate, I've passed it. What are you on about? We're going to turn in up ahead here. So there's a road that goes back down. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll come in. That light is very bright. Is that correct? That don't look right. I think that add-on might be slightly broken there. We. I hope it doesn't find me for bypassing it. Exxon, look at that fuel. Right here we go. I hope he doesn't mind us going in on this side, like. Right, where's the way station, mate? Okay. Where have we got a way? It's coming up. Trucks are facing the other way. Shit. This is bullshit, man. Right, so we shouldn't be coming in here. This is where they pull out. So he's gonna. Right, the scale should be a sewer grate, and it is, boys. So we just put park our butt on here. And that should satisfy them. Boom! Pressed inspection. Brilliant, mate. No immigrants on my truck, mate. I don't collect them, I'm afraid. I just say no. Right, let's get out of here. Wasting time, this is. There's no trust in the trucking world. Dodgy truckers have bloody ruined it for us all. Right, we need to do a turn out here. Oh, my bloody pedals keep getting stuck. Can't stop! Shit! My pedals keep getting jammed underneath the bar of my table. So it's really hard to... So basically, I've got these two pedals. They're very tiny. And my table, what I'm using here, has... A oh, shit, what happened then? Has an underneath, right? screen just flash, flash black then has a, a bar going across so I've had to put the wheel, the two pedals in between that 
so the bar goes right between the two pedals and of course they still slide because I've got bloody uh, wooden floors um, there's no way to pin them down or anything there's no traffic lights here so we just keep on going um, right, here we go 97 back up so I just basically have to keep moving them every now and again and kind of use my feet to not only drive the pedal like push down but also to slide them into place as I'm driving it's not exactly what real life truckers have to deal with because their pedals don't move only forward and backwards mine go forward backwards and left to right so a bit of a hill climb here I think we'll do this in one Right, we need to turn uh, left here. So sometimes they get stuck. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Can't see where I'm going because the bloody map. <laughs> Fuck you, no. I Do you know what? This game begs for, um, what is it called? The motion head tracking. So you turn your red and the camera turns. This game definitely needs that because to turn this mouse at the same time. Shit! Hey, boys, this is it. Yeah, the, the the blinkers are definitely dodgy. I think I need to change that mod out. The blinkers look a bit weird. Didn't notice this when I was testing it, so I don't know. And I've put them in the same order as my test profile, so I don't I don't know why. Maybe. Maybe it's another mod uh, playing up, or I don't know. Whoa, that sounds a bit... Trucks look pretty cool. The AI traffic looks awesome. Right, we're going up. Up and over! Buddy, this is going to take off this tr truck in a minute. Come on! Push it! Push it real good. Right, uh, we're going over, so it's it's a braking situation. Oh no, it's green, so we're good. Thank you. We're going to Oregon, home of the Oregon Trail. Where is that a fucking UFO in the sky, dude? Just got a UFO. Oh shit, where are we going? Yep, yeah, straight. Honestly, there's so much to deal with in this game. You got UFOs. No wonder there's accidents on the road. Right, green at the moment, but it could turn red at any second. But I don't think it will. We just go straight on and bypass all these suckers. Sun is rising. What time are we on? Fucking hell, going faster than we should be here. 5.03 and the sun is almost up. Look at that. I've had my high beams on the whole time. <laughs> Whoops, the daisy. Eighty nine now. World War Veterans. What was that for? Didn't miss that. I would say the vegetation here looks pretty decent. We're in Wyoming. Look at them rocks. They look really good. I might not need to change any textures here. Although I think Wyoming, is that one of the free ones that come with the game? Or is that like a recently added one? I, I can't remember. Or it could be pro mods. I don't, you just don't know. Life is a roulette, and you never know what you're going to get. Forrest Gump says it's a box of chocolates. Because you never know what you're going to get. Would you like a chocolate? Watch this film the other night. My name is Otto, I think it's called. Tom Hanks. And it's the exact opposite of um, when he played Mr. Rogers. He plays this sour old man, like Jack Nicholson did in As Good As It Gets, right? Um, but you find out more about his life as the film goes on, which is heartbreakingly like, oh my God, you're crying by the end of it. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but you find out about his life and 
you know, he lives alone and he's miserable and he's always having a go at everybody. Nothing is ever good enough for him. You know, like he goes to, okay, I'll, I'll tell you what happens at the beginning of the film. He goes to like a B&Q or like a hardware store because he wants to buy some rope, right? And he, they have like a yardstick thing where you can measure it and he measures it exactly, you know? And he takes it to the till, and he's just got this one piece of rope, and the guy goes, yeah, that'll be uh, $6.39. And he's going, well, it should be $5, you know, 29 or something, like 50 cents difference, right? And he's like, yeah, why is that? He says, well, I've just come in for five feet of rope. I've got five feet of rope. And he says, um, you're giving me six feet of price. And I'm only paying for five. And he says, we don't sell it by the foot. We sell it by the yard. And I can't put five feet in the till. So it's, you know, you're, and he goes, I don't care what you can't do on the till. I'm only buying five feet. I guess the conversion of feet to yard is a little bit different. He goes, can I speak to your manager? And he goes, my manager's on a break. And he goes, can I speak to your assistant manager? And the guy calls her, and it's this young girl, like like 18. And he goes, how old are you? Should, shouldn't you be washing your hair or something? Something really insulting, right? Because of her age. And he's like, I'm not even... No, no, no. Anyway, I don't know how that's sorted, if, they, if he gets what he wants. I, I really can't remember. But it's so funny. It really is. It's really... It's... It's different to see Tom Hanks being mean, being exactly what he is in real life, you know, being a complete tosser. But like I said, you find out all about his life, um, what kind of man he was and who he met. And you understand more of why he's like this. But then it starts slipping in some real tear-jerking moments. And by the end, you're crying. By the end, that's it. You've lost it. You might as well just call yourself a waterbed because you've turned into a big wobbly splash of a mess. But it's really, really good. I really recommend it. it like, even if you don't like Tom Hanks, you'll love it. <laughs> I feel. It shows what a neighborhood should be really like. It, you know, instead of the reality of what neighborhoods tend to be like. Oh, hello, we got what's this? Lover's Lane. Whoa, what's going on, boys? Mate, um, you better... Someone's getting chatty chatty there. Not even a copper. That's not a copper pulling her over. That's just two people who have hooked up. You know, they flagged each other down somehow. And they're having a chat. They've just fallen in love, them two. Honestly, what is going on? 6.36 a.m. And it looks like kind of more like 11 a.m. to be honest. I'm going to be putting in uh, a mod which changes the time of day to more realistically because it seems like... I feel like I've lost time. I feel like aliens have abducted me and brought me back like hours later, you know, in the short space of a time, though. I don't remember anything, so... Um, time just doesn't feel accurate here, you know. So... Still going straight. Straight to hell. Guys, we're going to end up in Oregon. I mean, look, this looks pretty decent, to be honest, considering where we are, like. This looks really good. This is default still. And I want you guys to take particular care of attention to detail to the roads, because that's the next thing that's going to change, is the road textures. So the roads everywhere are going to get an update. Um, just the roads. I will just do the roads in this next one um, I'll probably add in as well the interface to make it a little bit more nicer because it kind of looks a bit uh, basic so I'll, I will add in an add-on which changes the UI to a more modern feel but um, yeah the roads will change in the next video and then after that we'll do like the vegetation uh, the sky the time of day and finally the weather so the clouds everything will get changed I mean I think the traffic looks pretty realistic the vehicles they are decent looking cars 
Are we coming off here? I think we are. Then we need to slide over to this lane. I feel. I don't know. Could be wrong. We're still going straight, so maybe not. Look at that Jeep, man. It's a real life Jeep there. I want to see a Cadillac. Buses. We should see a Greyhound uh, coach. Okay. Looks like we're okay. Oh shit! We need to. Uh, it's joy. It's rejoining here. So that was that was. That's, we didn't need to go into that lane. Got to be careful here. We don't want to crash. I've got only seventeen grand. I did have. Uh, nearly 30 grand but when I was testing out on this profile to make sure it worked for the video which is fuck mate fucking break um, which was kind of a mistake because um, I just did a short the shortest of shorts uh, route and my truck just flipped for no reason whatsoever it just all went to hell we got here that out. El Mercado. So yeah, so I had to abandon that delivery because my truck had fucked and I lost 17 grand on that job. And I was like, you fucking kidding me? So prices are insane in default for, you know, re-deliveries and shit. Vans look realistic, and so do the cars and that. They look really good. I haven't put any motorcycles or trains in, because we get trains anyway. And motorcycles are just annoying. So, it's like, in this world, motorcycles are not allowed. I do... Is that the Bronco? I do like that, and if it is... Bend. Hey, Coca-Cola! It's the real thing. Look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Do you know what? It's already looking pretty good, I think. We got realistic shops, realistic signs. There's Walmart there. We got realistic trucks, cars. You know, everything. Got the road barriers are gone. The we need to. We're leaving here. Sorry, mate. Sorry for cutting you up. I didn't realise I was leaving till the last minute. Not come. You know, everything but the the textures of the landscape and the sky. Right, I think we're joining here. see any yep we're all good let's get over well, 26 minutes we're almost there we're almost there traffic lights coming up roller to a nice stop what's there what we got here auto zone look at that realistic where's the taco bell man i want to see a taco bell and I want to see a shell garage, Taco Bell, 7-Eleven. I want to see some real shit. That looks like a Volkswagen. Or no, that's a Ford Transit van. Let's have a look at the cars out here. Mate, sweet. Oh, look at that one back there. Fucking love it, mate. Fucking love it. Matco Tools. Look at that. Stuck in traffic simulation. <laughs> That's what this game is really about. Stuck in traffic simulation. <laughs> You're stuck in traffic and you need to get to work. <gasps> Fucking look at that car there. Oh, love that. Love it. Love it. Chevy's, mate. Oh, look at that one. That's the one. That's what I wanted to see. Thank you. That was so gorgeous. Mate, there's a Honda there. Driver, we have discovered a recruitment agency. You can hire some drivers who don't know what they're doing to work for you. Chevron? Look at this, it's real life, mate. I'm a trucker in real life now.
Need to get some tunes on the go. Alright, oh shit. Motel, everyone's purchasing the room by the hour. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nutty nutty. I don't think we're coming off here. No, oh, it's straight ahead. Look at that car there in front. Fucking beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. Those types of cars. You know, real cars. Never mind the ones that look like a bloody peanut. They all look shaped the same shit. You know, aerodynamic. I want a chunky monkey, proper, not gonna fall apart, air conditioning, leather seats, car. Oh, I think I've just fucked the driver behind me. Whoops. Like, not literally, but you know. Okay, we need to actually turn here, so we should actually be in the next lane here. So, I want to see if this dude is going to be kind to... No, he's not! He isn't, you mother... Fuck. Look at that. The guy, the car that I love, did it. What a nice man. Okay, this is us here. But it's red anyway, so we have to stop. We got around us. What's that there? 76. Yes. Claire's accessories. <laughs> they have Claire's accessories in America, man. Didn't know that. Honestly, it's 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 just like real life, this, isn't it? I got all these real cars and it, I mean even even the steering has changed. I've put physics in the steering. I've put the truck interiors, I believe. Um maybe oh well, maybe not, I don't know. Oh we got curtains, look at that. Cool. Everything's changed. Everything changes but the game. Continental down there just turned Lincoln. Lovely. That's us. Here we go. We're going to Walmart. Where is it? It's 11 minutes away, guys. Eleven minutes away. We're speeding already. Fucking hell, man. Gotta go slow poke through this town. Too many old deers crossing the street, I think. So after this, we'll be um, in American truck, putting in the last of our mods probably, because after that video, most likely, we'll hit level seven, which means cha-ching time. We go buy a truck. And we go by, we have a bank loan. So, that's where the money really kicks in. So we, we need to make lots of money because when we do put the real economy in, the jobs become shit. Like you get paid like a grand instead of seven grand, you know? So I've got to make as much money now as possible. So it's, uh, it's honey time when the real prices start coming in. Oh, look at that! That caddy! Oh, 65 or 55 caddy. Yes. Beautiful, mate. Honestly, I love the cars in this game. I lo love playing this, mate. That's a green. Got Mac. Oh, man. No one's going to... Oh, he's let you through, mate. Everywhere. It's real life, mate. Honestly. Right, we're turning in here. So, I don't see Walmart. We're supposed to be going to Walmart, are we? With juice. We've got like a big van of juice. Burger King, guys! We get a burger. Yes, do you know what? After this, we're going to get a burger. I haven't had a burger in fucking months. Right, I think we, we can turn over here. And let people pass. That want to pass. Ford in front of us. Never get a Ford, guys. They make him to break. Did that just uncouple itself? How was that noise? Construction yard? They're building houses. Look at that. Pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, that big truck ac across the way. Kenworth. Right, we should be going now. And we are. Walmart sign. That's us. Police, guys, act normal. We didn't do it. Guys, just act normal. We don't want to get arrested by the cappers. Okay. So, we... It's not this one. It's the next one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, fucking beautiful. That's what you want to get stuck behind. One of those cars. Not a fucking cop car like this. Oh, no, it's not. It's the one after him was cop. We're still behind a Ford. Who's fucking going the same way we're going, guys? Is he, uh, is he an agent? Following us? Right. Walmart. We're going to pull in here. As soon as we can. Oh, uh, is this the one where we have to pull it in? Right. Sewer grate is there. I think. No. No, it's there. So, this is this is the tricky one, this is. This is a tricky one. See, already I can't see where I'm going. I've got to do this on blind faith now. It should kick in any second. And it hasn't. Why? Fuck a duck. Why isn't it kicked in? Let's go a little bit more forward. Dude, what the fuck? No, this isn't the spots! What the hell? It's there! It's down there! Ah, oh, see? I knew this is always a, a bloody wanker's one. Right. Alright, see if this will... Without hitting that car. Guys, I think... Got them. That should be over. Fuck! 408 quid, mate! We just fucked his car! Sorry! I thought that cleared. I really did. If he's asking us now to park it behind where I am, this... See, that white square, there was one down there, and I thought that's what it was. Fuck me. We just lost 480 quid, guys. Right, let's see where he wants it. He wants it. Uh, let's play it safe. Oh, thank God he wants it around the corner. So it's just around here. There should be cones telling me where. There should be. There they are. Beautiful, mate. Right, let's do this, mate. DHL van there. Right. Uh, these cones should go green tips when I've done it. Because I can't actually fucking see. So there's the cone in my rear view. So when it gets a green tip, or that, that'll do me. <coughs> Uncouple that shit, boys. We're done. Babing, baboo. <sighs> Guys, I hope we made it in time. We're on level five now. Uh, we got a proficiency bonus and a trailer maneuvering, so that's all right. And we got four, nearly five grand for it. Sweet guys. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. Hopefully, oh, and we get a skill point. Beautiful. Always spend it on the fuel first. And then, then the just-in-time delivery is basically bottom to top. That's how I do it. That's how it seems to work out all right. But thank you so much for watching this. Uh, join me in the next one where we'll change all the roads and uh, see what they look like. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.